today. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Falcon offense about ready to go to work here for the first time. And leading them, as he has since 2008, is the veteran quarterback, former MVP, Matt Ryan. And I think if there's one quarterback in the league who sometimes gets taken for granted, to me it's Matt Ryan because I think throughout his career, he's been consistently excellent. Frequent member of the 4,000-yard club, savvy veteran, knows how to throw the deep ball and create big plays. And yes, he will beat you from the pocket. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Ryan, open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ryan on target to Pitts, first down, Falcons. First and ten, it's Ryan. Right back to Pitts again. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Ryan. His throw incomplete. Well, he got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. To throw is Ryan. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Here's second and ten. Ryan now handing to Davis on the draw. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Two yards the loss and now third and twelve. Incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Ryan going to give this to Davis. And he's brought down. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Mike Davis. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Falcons are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Oh, good-looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. Me, Cole Hardman. He will score! Well, there you go. They gave up the score to start the game, and as 
quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Here's a give to Davis. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's Ryan to throw. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They go play action. Now Mahomes going to let one fly for Robinson. Oh, Take off your helmet and get your kids next time. It's going to be caught. And for a Kansas City touchdown. To Marcus Robinson. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Butker on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. There he goes, left side. The 30, 10, touchdown. Calvin Ridley, 75 yards. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game.
Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards, in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Here's Mecole Hardman. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I true. mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Now Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive four plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Matt Ryan and the offense heading back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I come around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. And this is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. That's to the speedster, Alameda Zacchaeus. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. On first down, Ryan. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. And 
unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field range at the 28. A good pick up there at 20 yards. Another huge season last year for Tyreek Hill, teaming up with Patrick Mahomes. Close to 1,300 yards receiving. 15 touchdowns as well. And that was second only to Devontae Adams. We know about the big plays. Also makes the dependable chain-moving catches as well. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who threw it. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Ryan. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This time they stay on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on four. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Hardman on the return. So we've come upon him. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward the beginning of the second half. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, pulled it in. The first play of the second half. A big success, over 30 yards. So when's the best time to take the big shots downfield? When you think a defense least expects it, and I think the first play of the third quarter qualifies. They came right out firing. That's how you send a message to start the second half of a game. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. Well, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. The 
This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Along the sideline, making the connection to Hardman. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Nick Burton in there to bury him for a loss of 11. On second down, it's Davis. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of eight yards to move him into a third and 13 here. Here's Ryan. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Hardman to return. A nice run back there off the good pun. It's a 16-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time, but it'll be second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 54 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up his right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. 
And what I mean by that, well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Falcons. Mike Davis with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons get a bit closer. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. Now, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so Switch we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade's going to happen, but this is caught inside the 15. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman, a touchdown on a kick return, and now one through the air. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The long touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now it's Ryan. Complete to Zacchaeus. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Now Ryan. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them.